current treatment process for end-of-life vehicles ELVs, includes depollution and removal of components so they can be reused at authorized treatment facilities ATFs. Depolluted ELVs are then shredded for recovering metals, both ferrous and non-ferrous. But what about plastics? One and a half tons of mixed plastics are annually entering at post-shredding treatment facilities where available, where they are sorted, cleaned and recovered. These are expensive, energy-intensive and not fully available processes. Thus, mixed plastics from ELVs end in landfills or energy recovering facilities. The LifeCirc ELV project proposed a novel method for extracting bumpers and fuel tanks from ELVs directly at ATFs. The aim of the LifeCirc ELV project is to recover these large plastic parts at early stages so they can be effectively sorted and recycled. Both polypropylene from bumpers and high-density polyethylene from fuel tanks are recycled into automotive and construction plastic products. Thus, plastics remain in the plastic sector loop, contributing to the circular economy of ELVs. The LifeCirc ELV project was completed thanks to the contribution of a consortium of partners along the whole value chain of ELV's treatment. From ELV management, Indra and Cortes, pre-treatment and recycling of plastics, Einplas and Isolago, and recycled plastic parts production for automotive and construction sectors, Sigit and Isolago. Dissemination, Sigrauto, and technical coordination of the project, Einplas, closed the consortium of the LifeCirc ELV project. This is how the model for the LifeCirc ELV project works. During the depollution process, bumpers and fuel tanks are removed at the ATF from the ELV before it is pressed and further shredded. Indra is one of the major players in the management of the ELV sector in France. Desguace Cortés is one of the largest and most advanced ATFs in Spain. They work together sharing all their expertise to find the best procedures to be applied for the extraction of large plastic parts in ELVs. Indra had a very important role in this part of the project. As it had already participated in previous projects, named ICAR 95, where we study different options for extracting and preparing bumper for their recycling. Desguace Cortés works in close cooperation with Indra to optimize the best extracting procedure for bumpers and fuel tanks. There was a bidirectional active work to finally get the process we fully implemented. Thanks to Live Cirque ELV project, all bumpers for all ELVs entering from the Guate Cortés are dismounted and sent to a recycler pressing bales. The procedure for fuel tanks was fully validated. The fuel tank stream is ready to be supplied once the market is prepared. Recovered fuel tanks and bumpers are then shredded and washed for purifying the plastics flows. Thus, dirt and non-plastics and or other polymers are removed. Einplas, the Plastics Technology Center of Reference in Spain, provided the know-how they have in recycling plastics for pre-processing large plastic components into clean and small plastic particles. Pre-treatment processes are mandatory for these plastics recovered from ELVs. First step consists in reducing the size, and one option is to be as shredded. Shredded plastics needs to be washed here in Aimplus with two main objectives. The first one is to remove dirt and dust that they contain, and the second one is to get pure streams of plastic. Just to notice that polyethylene and polypropylene float in water, so then they can be recovered in a pure streams.
process for the production of recycled pellets ready to be used. Is allowed to do the recycle components that the end user industry needs. Mix the recycled plastics with virgin polymers like master batch and an additive that is allowed the problem to improve the properties. Recycled plastics are validated so they can be used in real products. Closed loop means producing automotive plastics parts, while open loop means fabricating pipes and pipe fittings with recycled plastics. The Spanish SIGIT plant validates the recycled plastics in the automotive sector. SIGIT is an Italian-based company that supplies automotive plastic parts to several manufacturers OEMs, around the world. A Portuguese company contacted by Isolago was the industrial validator for recycled plastics to be used in the construction sector. Being an automotive plastic part supplier is not an easy task. Manufacturers quality standards are really high and they have to be independently in the parts made from virgin or recycled plastic. We have been responsible for the validation of the material obtained from the ELPs. SIGIT uh, simulated in a real way all the process and tests necessary for the validation of this recycled material, just as it was done for the homologation with the OEM. Large-scale production of pipes and pipe fittings was conducted by Arteplas, a trusted partner of Isolago. The recycled material we produced was finally converted into large pipes and fittings with good results. Arteplas is interested in having more of this material for its current production. Dissemination and engagement of different stakeholders is crucial for this new model to be transferred to other ATFs and to generate the proper business model. Sigrauto, as an entity where vehicle manufacturers, ATFs and shredding and post-shredding facilities are together to coordinate their activities in the implementation of the ELV regulation in Spain, played an important role in the project related to update the state-of-the-art and regulatory aspects of ELV treatment in Europe and to the coordination of all the dissemination, replicability and transferability activities. We've tried as hard as possible to get as many people aware of the project and the truth is that we have 27 stakeholders from seven different EU countries and some of them are entities that represent the whole ELV recycling sector in the respective countries. The live Circ ELV stakeholders at the different stages are in the position of offering consulting services to any ATF, compounder or part manufacturer in order to analyze which is the best way to implement the model at their facilities. The LiveCirc ELV project demonstrated the viability of recovering plastics from bumpers and fuel tanks in ELVs so they can be recycled into industrial products for the automotive and construction sector. Thanks to the LiveCirc ELV project, more than 12 tons of recycled plastics were produced. They came from 1,000 ELVs that was, were dismantled according to the new model. Within this new model, up to 20,000 bumpers are potentially recovered yearly at the Suárez Cortés. This model, in which fuel tanks could also be recycled, implies that 85% of carbon footprint and more than 95% of energy demand are reduced compared with the conventional ELV management model. The model is ready to be implemented along other ATFs along Europe for boosting circular economy in the end-of-life vehicle sector. This project has been co-funded with the support of the Life Financial Instrument of the European Union, Life17 EMV-ES-000438.